Throughout this video, whenever you see this symbol, please perform the pressure relief procedure. To relieve pump fluid pressure, follow this procedure. Set the hydraulic valve to the off position. Run the engine at half throttle. Relieve hose pressure through the guns. Use the Roadpack Advanced Controller to trigger the guns for at least three seconds each. Always relieve pressure with the guns, not with the filter drain valves. Using the filter drain valves can cause damage and prevent them from sealing in the closed spray positions. Close the paint gun ball valves. Open all drain valves one at a time. Close valves immediately to prevent paint from drying in the system. If you suspect the spray tip or hose is clogged or that pressure has not been fully relieved, very slowly loosen the tip guard retaining nut or the hose end coupling and gradually relieve pressure. Loosen the nut or the coupling completely. Clear any obstructions in the hose or tip. To relieve air pressure in the bead tank, turn the bead system valve to the off position. To relieve air pressure and drain condensation in the air tank, turn the air valve to the open position. Be aware that at any time, you can shut down the entire road laser system by setting the road pack advanced controller power setting to the off position. Before loading the reflective material, set the road pack advanced controller to the off position. Set the engine key to off. Relieve the air system pressure by opening the ball valve on the air tank until the gauge reads zero. Relieve air pressure in the bead tank by turning the bead system valve to the off position. Remove the cover from the bead tank. To open the bead fill port, turn the T-handle counterclockwise. Load the bead tank with reflective materials. Once filled, turn the T-handle clockwise and place the cover back on the tank and lock it down. Unlock the gun arm clamp and the slide beam clamps. Pull the slide beam to the left or right side of the vehicle. Lock the slide beam clamps. Remove the gun arm from the upright stowed position and slide it to the end of the boom. Lock it into position by connecting it to the winch and lower, and then slowly lower the gun arm. To prepare the system for painting, first ground the road laser by connecting the ground clamp to an earth ground. To prevent premature packing wear, fill the throat packing nut with TSL. Do this each time you spray or store. While the engine is cold, check the oil level. If necessary, add the appropriate oil for the air temperature in which you'll be painting. Be aware that the engine can be started with low oil and may not shut off when low oil is detected. If the oil is not at an appropriate level before starting and during equipment operation, damage may occur. Fill the fuel tank. Check hydraulic oil level. Add only synthetic hydraulic oil ISO 46 with a viscosity index of 154 or higher. The hydraulic tank capacity is approximately four gallons for the road pack models and approximately eight gallons for the road pack HD models. Check the oil level in the compressor. If the red dot is visible, add SAE 30 weight non-detergent air compressor oil. Verify all hose and fitting connections are tight. Turn the paint pump hydraulic valves to the off or closed position and the bypass valve to the start position. Turn the valve lever by the guns clockwise a quarter turn to the off position. If using solvent-based material, place the suction tube and drain tube into a grounded metal pail partially filled with flushing fluid. Attach a ground wire to the pail and to the earth ground. 
Turn the prime spray valve down. Install a clean inlet strainer. Be sure there is a minimum of a half an inch between the bottom of the strainer and the suction tube. Turn the pressure control counterclockwise to the lowest pressure. To start the engine, set the RoadPak Advanced Controller to ON. Set the engine choke to ON. Set the throttle to half speed and turn the key. After the engine starts, set the choke to OFF. To activate the pumps, turn the bypass valve to RUN and open the hydraulic valves. Slowly turn the pressure control clockwise until the pump begins to stroke. When flushing fluid comes out of the return lines, set the hydraulic valve to the OFF position. Place the suction hoses into the paint drums. To activate the pumps, open the hydraulic valves. When paint comes off of the return lines, set the hydraulic valve to the OFF position. Turn all drain valves to the spray or closed position. Place the return lines into the paint drum. To pressurize the air system, close the air valve. Open only the spray gun ball valves that correspond to the paint pumps or colors that will be used. To avoid paint color contamination, never open both ball valves on the two color gun at the same time. Use the RoadPak Advanced Controller to turn the guns on. To activate the pumps, open the hydraulic valves. Use the Road Pack Advanced Controller to turn off the guns. To pressurize the bead tanks, turn the bead system valve to the on position. Use the regulator knob to set your desired bead tank pressure. Remove and secure the ground clamp from the earth ground. The system is now ready for painting. Use the RoadPak Advanced Controller to select guns. Before flushing the system, perform the pressure relief procedure. Use compatible solvent to flush the system. Check for leaks while the system is under pressure. If any leaks are found, relieve the pressure and repair the leak. Pressurize the system again and repeat this process until no leaks are found. Ground the road laser with the ground clamp to the earth ground. The grounding clamp and ground strap are both required for safe operation. The grounding clamp is for stationary use. Set the paint pump hydraulic valves to the off or closed position. Fill a reservoir with water or compatible solvent. Place the paint suction hose into the pail. Place the paint return lines into an empty reservoir. Turn all prime spray valves to the prime or open position. Turn on the RoadPak Advanced Controller. Start the engine in this order. Set the choke to on. Set the throttle to half speed. Turn the key. After the engine starts, set the choke to off. To reduce static sparking and splashing, always remove the spray tip from the gun and hold the metal part of the gun firmly to the side of a grounded metal pail during flushing. To activate the pumps, turn the bypass valve to the run or closed position and open the hydraulic valves. When you see water or solvent coming out of the spray guns, set the paint pump hydraulic valves to off. Turn all prime spray valves to the spray or closed position. Open only the spray gun ball valves that correspond to the paint pumps that were used. To avoid paint color contamination, never open both valves of the two color guns at the same time. Use the RoadPak Advanced Controller to turn the guns on. To activate the pumps, turn the bypass valve to the run or closed position and open the hydraulic valves. When water or solvent comes out of the spray guns, Set the paint pump hydraulic valves to the OFF position. Use the RoadPak Advanced Controller to turn off the guns. Shut off both the engine and RoadPak Advanced Controller. Leave the paint pump prime spray valves and spray gun ball valves open. Remove and secure the ground strap from the earth ground. 